Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That's right, I'm giving you guys a fresh new video. I know it's been a while since I've been here at Superior Auto Sale, but with everything that was going on for a while, everybody basically had to stay home for about two months, so things are slowly getting back to normal. So, but like I always say, if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that bell for notifications. I'll leave a comment down below. So we got a few new ones. It's been about two months since I've been here. Some of the other ones are still here, but they got some new ones as well. So I'm gonna show you guys around. Do you guys remember this truck? Yeah, unfortunately this one's still here, but I'm sure somebody will want it. I mean, it's just big for no reason. But for those of you who don't remember it or have never seen this video, here's the big air horns. Look at the size of that exhaust. I mean, to give you guys an idea of how big this thing is, I mean, this is my hand, okay? That is huge. That is a big diesel. That exhaust is gigantic. All right. Yeah, all underneath it. Big, huge truck. And I can't really climb up in here because this thing is... The rocker panel is almost off to my chest. Well, they got a Mustang GT in there, a convertible. But they do have something really nice in the showroom. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse on this one. This is the 2015. The premium. It is a sharp car. 5.0. Definitely well kept. But if you guys like any of these cars that you see, go to S. ASCARS.com and you will get a full breakdown of what they're asking for it, the mileage, what year it is. So you can pick and choose which car you like or truck. Oh, somebody put little red lights in there. It's a nice touch. Mileage wise, I don't know, but definitely a nice car. It smells good in here too. Definitely a nice car. You guys remember that Cadillac? That is a big car. Big, big car. Let's get a nice shot of that in there. I don't know what year it is. Let me take a look. A 65. Um, with the registration, I don't know if somebody bought it or it's here on consignment. I'm not sure. I don't see a plate on it, so I don't know. But this car is very straight. I mean, you look down the, the quarter panel, you don't see any ripples. I'll take another quick peek in it. These doors are massive. It's just a very big car. You guys remember this one too. I'll take a quick peek inside of her. Time to head in the showroom. You guys remember this Maserati? And 
then here's another one. Not going to be a really long video. Because a lot of cars are outside right now. You got two Maseratis right here. Which color you want? Gunmetal gray? Or the royal blue? Be careful with the door there. It's a Jaguar. I thought there were two Maserati. They had another Maserati here before, so I am. Oh, this is nice, comfortable seats. Low battery. All right. It's a huge touchscreen. I mean, I can't even spread my finger apart on it. What year is this? 2017. There's the invoice number on it. So if you guys like this one. Nice huge panoramic roof. Nice leather interior. Yeah, this is a nice truck. Or I'm sorry, I'll stand corrected. SUV, because somebody will definitely point that out. I Me, mean, it's still a truck. I don't care what anybody said. That's my opinion. <laughs> Suede on the side pillars here. That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice truck. Uh, nice leather interior. Oh, this looks like it goes back a little further. around to the front here. I know it's a little dark in here today. But it's still cool though. I would definitely drive it. Here's the other view. Jaguar that's still here because I know that one's on consignment. The Volvo, but here we have a new Toyota Supra. Let's get the year on it. 2020. You got it. I want to take a walk around her. The first time I've seen one in person. So if you want to go to the website, there you go. SASCar.com. Try not to bump into the other cars. My first time getting inside of one. And yes, it cleared the Volvo. This is a sharp interior. Wow, look at these seats. Oh, they're nice. Time to sit in it. It's a little tight for me, but I'm sure you can adjust the seat. Yeah, there you go. Go back a little bit. Welcome driver two. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, this is it's a nice car. All the carbon fiber right here, if you can see it. And I'm sure this car, well, okay. 
329 miles. That's all it has on it. That's the tripometer, I'm sorry. Mileage is 2,659. So somebody had a little bit of fun with this. Yeah, this is definitely a sharp car. Like a hatch back there. You can't see back there because it's all dark. I can't even see in there. But yeah, it's definitely a sharp looking car. I mean, I feel a little big in it. I'm six foot, so not too bad. I'm sure it moves out pretty well, too. And I remember that Camaro. Yeah, this one is a the supercharged. I think I did film this one once before. Yeah, I did film this one before. Well, for you guys who don't remember it. Or have not seen my other videos. I'll show you the inside of it again. Oh, there is the interior on her. Stick shift. The classic gauges. But right here, this is what I wanted to see, the R8 convertible. It's like an Arctic white. Doesn't look like a wide car, but it actually is. This is nice. This is a pretty car. Put your little screen back here to keep the window. Gate shifter. Well, I know those are kilometers, so this car did not have 100, did not have 14,000 miles on it. Those are kilometers. Yeah, this would be a fun car to drive. You sit pretty low in it, though. But that's all right. And your gate shifter right here. Six-speed manual. There you go. All black leather interior. This car is nice. All right, guys. All right. And yep, yeah, they got the hood open on this one, on this Jaguar. Or this Aston Martin, I mean, I'm sorry, V12, 6.0. So, quick peek in her. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I should be shooting some more pretty soon, but if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that subscribe button, that like, and that bell for notification. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one.